Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ndeya J and today's video is going to be testing out a couple of makeup items but the focal point is going to be products from IT Cosmetics. Now IT Cosmetics were nice enough to send me a couple of their products, especially their concealer. So this is the Bye Bye Under Eye concealer so we are definitely going to try this out and um, they reached out to me before i went on holiday and asked me for my shade so i did go on their website bit of a guessing game going on but i made some educated guesses hopefully they work out okay um i did i do have a, still a little bit of a tan so hopefully it all works out but i thought it would be nice to sit down track up the makeup items that are new to me um and also test out these wonderful products from it cosmetics so hopefully it all goes to plan but yeah if you want to know my thoughts then keep on watching so before I get into what primer to use, I do have a CC cream that they sent me. So I want to know what it's about before I decide on what, what primer would match it best. I have it in a full size and they've also come out with the travel size. Now the travel size comes in 6 colours but the full size comes in 12. Both of which in my opinion is not good enough. In this day and age you kind of need a, a wider spectrum. When I was choosing my shades, I was very limited. I think there were only about three dark shades. So definitely improvement needed in that respect. But I do like the fact that they have a travel size version because that's one of the problems that I face when I'm traveling. A lot of my products are full size, so I always have to check a bag in. I can't have, um, you know, 120 mil of product when it's only a 100 mil limit kind of thing. But yeah, it's nice to have travel size versions. So just to get a feel about it, it says um, it's full coverage makeup, anti-aging with SPF 50. I love anything with SPF in it. Brightening color corrector, hydrating, pores appear reduced, reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles, packed with skin solving ingredients. And the travel size retails for £13 and the full size retails for £31. Now the full size is 32ml while the travel size is 12ml. So just looking on the website just to get more of a sense so it says it's hydrating i have combination to oily skin so i definitely love a matte finish so i think i'm gonna go ahead and give myself a matte finish it says it's full coverage so i'm not gonna color correct we're gonna see how that performs so i'm just going to go ahead and use my revolution pro hydra matte primer i have been loving and using this primer lately it's just been working really well with all the um foundations that I have so hopefully it will work well with this one Primer on I'm going to talk about the shades so they've the the last three four to well three to four shades are like the darker shades so they've got a deep they've got a rich honey and they've got rich and then tan so the tan to me is just really beigey so the shades that I asked for I asked for rich honey in the full size and then they sent me rich in the um, travel size and deep so what I'm gonna try I'm gonna first of all try rich honey like the tube if the color is anything to go with the color on here then I am royally screwed but hopefully not just gonna go ahead and squeeze and that is rich honey and rich honey is the second to the last darkest shade so if I blend that out that is what it looks like which looks hella pale so I'm gonna clean this off and try the travel size in deep so this is deep and deep is the darkest shade <sighs> wish me luck guys it's not gonna be cute if it's not you know if it's just not so this is deep <laughs> If I blend that in, that still looks really pale on camera. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it I am gonna go ahead and use this color because um, I really just want to test the consistency they also sent through some of their brushes so I've got the Heavenly Lux Wonder Ball powder brush so that's for powder and then I have the complexion perfection brush so that's what I'm going to use to apply the foundation I have washed it I just put it back in the packaging so I know where it is so I'm going to start with just a little ooh, little squeeze on the brush wish me luck guys so I'm going to start blending that into my skin it does have a smell it does have a smell I'm trying to see how long the smell lasts for before disappearing it is a bit of a thick consistency and it's not spreading as well but that is a little bit of a coverage so I'm going to go ahead and just apply all and then let you guys know what I think <laughs> I don't know what to say for a CC cream now a CC cream is a color corrective cream that's what a CC cream is it's supposed to color correct your base basically giving you flawless skin I look ashy I look ashy I'm looking at myself in real life I'm looking at myself on the monitor and I just look ashy and it has a smell the smell is still lingering I can't even place it as to what the smell is and the consistency is really really thick and it's not like spreading out I can still see my imperfections I can still see my gray area it's not color correcting me at all and it's not hiding anything and this product has five stars on their website like somebody tell me how I mean people are putting good texture easy to use good color coverage smells great like no <laughs> um, feels great on the skin I'm so happy I bought this skeptical skeptical at first because I don't wear foundation uh -uh -uh. It's so up to for time. It's perfect match for me. Please take the plunge. You won't be disappointed. I really, really wanted to love this product, but the smell is just very, not chemically, but very plant-like, and it's just not spread. And you guys saw the dollops of products that I use. Like I use a lot my skin but I'm not gonna dwell on this let's carry on let's see how far I can get before giving up because right now I actually do feel like giving up I feel like I can't go out like this because I look hella pale even if I try to like I can see everything I can see my pores I can see my infections the only thing I could say is that my skin has a beautiful glow um that's it but anyway let, let's go let's go right right so next I have two shades of the bye bye under eye now this is one of their newest products so the bye bye under eye is says it's your superhero concealer available in 24 shades which is brilliant packed with some with the same ingredients full coverage won't crease or crack expression and humidity proof so I guess fine lines and stuff like that highly pigmented covers everything anti-aging vitamins antioxidant um, antioxidants hyaluronic, hy uh, hyaluronic acids and makes your skin look younger now let's see this guy retails for 25 pounds in the tube sorry the brush retails for 35 pounds just in case if you're interested and it's called the heavenly 
Lux Complexion Perfection Brush. I actually do love this brush and I love the fact that there's a smaller end to it so if you really wanted to get into those spots and use a concealer um, you can go ahead and do that and the brush itself is very light. So let's have a look. So I asked for rich and deep. So where are they in the color spectrum? So they have um, deep ebony which is quite a dark shade, deep mocha, deep honey, warm deep, deep nude, deep rich and then deep which is one of the ones that I have and then rich. So I normally like my under eye concealer to be slightly light, um, not too light obviously just a couple of shades lighter than me. So we're going to see what the packaging looks like and also what the product looks like. So this is what the packaging looks like and this retails for £25 and you get 12 milliliters of product which is 0 0.40 fluid ounce and it says 40.5 deep. So this is what deep looks like. I also got a brush. So this is the dual airbrush concealer brush and um, nice little packaging. It's a smoothening brush. So you've got two sides to it. How cool is that? One is that type of bristol and then one is that type of bristol which is very cute. And they both have caps so it's good for traveling at least not going to mess up your bag or anything so I am going to be using that and the brush retails for £21. So I'm looking at how to apply it and it says warm a tiny amount with fingers, tap onto the skin and blend using the brush. Can also be worn as a foundation. Okay so let's put a little bit to let you guys see what a colour looks like. That colour looks a lot warmer than the actual foundation on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh it's very thick, very very thick consistency. I don't mind that for concealer whatsoever, I actually like that. That's what it looks like. I'm just gonna go underneath my eye. As you guys can see, it's actually warmer, definitely warmer. I'm gonna tap it onto the skin and then use the brush as instructed okay yeah, I like that nice little coverage going on so I'm gonna use the brush now very very brightening okay okay we might have some hope very brightening definitely warmer than the CC cream okay very bright love the consistency I'm gonna do the same on the other side and the other areas that I want to highlight Right, they were not kidding. I love the consistency of this. I wish it was a little bit warmer, but you know what? I love the consistency of it. I love how creamy it is. It might be a little bit too thick for some people, but I love the consistency. I love how it blended out. I love how luminous my under eye looks. It just looks perfect. It concealed my dark circles perfectly and it's just yeah it feels really good it's not settling into any of my fine lines just yet so i'm not gonna tempt fate i'm gonna go ahead and set they sent me the bye bye pores pressed poreless finish airbrush press powder yeah in translucent so i'm gonna go ahead open that and then we can use it to set the under eye now can i just say how much i love this packaging really nice matte packaging now this retails for £25 and this is what it looks like. This is shade Translucent. This is what it looks like and it only comes in one shade. Um, key benefits of this. 
available in a portable compact case you do have a brush underneath and you've got a mirror universal translucent shade works on all skin tones anti-aging silk um, antioxidants and peptides in it as well so absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna go ahead and start setting my under eye before I regret it <laughs> and probably set the rest of my face with it as well to do that I'm going to use the heavenly Lux Wonder Ball brush which looks like this now this brush retails for 35 pounds very soft bristles I have washed it but the bristles are just absolutely soft so gonna be a duo okay so to set the under eye I'm really used to using my beauty blender so I'm gonna attempt to do that to set my under eye cause that's what I use every day anyway so let's try that in the first instance and then if that doesn't work yeah it's not working I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush I have some product on it already brush is so soft so soft you know on camera it's probably not gonna look too bad but let me tell you in person my texture is insane like the amount of texture that these products are leaving on my face is undesirable Seriously, I can see my pores, man. And this powder didn't really set the concealer underneath my eyes. And it says that you can use it all over, so I don't know. Yeah. It says to blur the appearance of pores. This is enhancing the appearance of my my pores it is not blurring nothing it is enhancing it I don't know if it's the powder or the powder and CC cream combination but it's enhancing my pores badly I'm not even gonna lie to you guys I don't think I'm gonna finish my makeup I think I'm just gonna test out these products and let you guys know my final thoughts um, I do have somewhere to go today, so I don't think I'm gonna be <laughs> Let's go on. I'm a trooper. Let's do this. Oh, there are some good products. I'm not even gonna sit here and just be horrible. There's some good products, and we're gonna get to those at the end. But what do I have left? Right, so... They, for my brows, they sent over brow powder and this is a universal brow pencil and this is universal taupe. I normally use dark brown um, to define my brows so I'm going to swatch this at the back of my hand first. See how dark it is before we go in because if it's not going to show up on my skin then there's almost no point going with it just gonna hurt so that is what it looks like okay let me let's 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 just see if it's gonna show up okay if you've got lighter brows than me you will love this because it's very stiff but the product is coming out like it's not gonna break on you okay it's a bit it's a bit ashy on me but if your brows are lighter you will love this guy it does feel really good and it has a spoolie at the end and it doesn't feel uncomfortable or anything it's just not the right shade for me that's not bad I just wish it was slightly darker but that's not bad 
So this product retails for this product retails for nineteen pounds, and it comes in just this shade universal taupe so if you've got slightly lighter brows than me then you will absolutely love this it's a little bit too ashy for me i'd have to combine it with another brow pencil but i do like how thick the pencil comes out and how stiff it is which means it isn't going to break when you're using it just make sure that you don't have it twisted all the way up there and I also appreciate a good spoolie, so I'm quite happy that they added that to the bottom of the brow product. Right, so unfortunately, I don't feel like I can carry on to do the rest of my face. My face has fully set, and I am due to go out today, and I can see my pores and see everything, so I'm going to have to do my makeup again. So I'm going to do a recap on all the products that I've tried and my thoughts. So, the CC cream. I like the idea of a CC cream. I have used one in the past and I didn't really like it. But I like the idea of a, of a colour correcting base. I really love that. Especially for me, I always have to colour correct because I have a shadow and I have under eye circles. But if you can find one, then absolutely gravitate towards it. It says this is full coverage. Unfortunately, I'm really sorry it, it just wasn't full coverage on my skin. Plus, you need to extend the skin, the um the range of colors, cause this deep was just not it. it. Just wasn't it. It just wasn't deep enough. As you can see, my skin has a cast. It didn't cover my imperfections. It didn't color correct my skin, and it gave my skin a lot of texture. I will say that the glow was on point. I love the way my skin looked luminous and it looked really really healthy i just didn't like the fact that it didn't give me the full coverage i was hoping for is it anti-aging i guess so um i haven't tried it long enough to know but if you use this and you've got a shade that matches you then let me know in the comment box below your thoughts about it but for me i just wasn't keen then the bye bye under eye concealer love it can't even find the cover don't even think it matters I think I'm gonna go through this quickly I really love I really love the consistency I really love how luminous it was Um, I really love the shade as well like I said it goes up higher so I think I might actually get the darker shades in the concealer and use it as a full full face foundation because consistency is nice and thick the coverage is there didn't have to color correct my under eye at all um, so absolutely love it it did everything that it said on the tin and more and I live for it expect to see this in more videos I will use this and set it with a loose powder and hopefully it will perform a lot better than it is now but this is a definite yes in my book absolutely love it so if you haven't tried it out definitely go ahead they've got loads of shades 24 shades and concealer is a really really good number to start hopefully it will get expanded but it's all up to you it it's up to you next are the brushes i love love the heavenly luxe wonderball powder brush my gosh guys it is and it's not the type of brushes that kind of stick you in the face and you feel like something is jabbing you. This guy is really soft and it did get underneath my eyes perfectly. Like really, really soft. I will be using this guy again in the future. Also love the Complexion Perfection brush. Um, love the two-ended brush. As I said, if you wanted to spot conceal some imperfections and underneath your eye you can do that and then you've got your brush to apply your foundation liquid or um cream i suppose absolutely love these two brushes the concealer brush as well it worked really well i think i have to use it a few more times i really love the idea of being able to store this in your bag your makeup bag without it getting everywhere and being able to just use it on the go i really really love that so definitely a nice touch love it um the brow pencil you guys know that's definitely yes if your brows are lighter than mine you're gonna love it i'm not too keen on the powder i think i need to test it out a little bit more i'm not sure if the cc cream is sabotaging it or if it just generally just accentuates your pores but i definitely need to try this out a little bit more with other 
foundation products to see how it wears so definitely make sure that you're subscribed to my channel to find out so the verdict is still out on this guy but i think that's it they also sent me a mascara but i have a couple of mascaras that i'm using at the moment so i just don't want to open it so it doesn't waste so make sure you tune in to my channel so that you can see me use it in future videos but i guess that is all um i hope you guys enjoy this review i'm so sorry i couldn't do a full face beat um it just wouldn't be true to me like yeah it just wouldn't be true to myself <laughs> i think i really need to strip down and do my whole face again but i hope you enjoyed my review i hope you enjoyed my thoughts i hope you enjoyed the demo um let me know what you guys think in the comment box have you used any of these products what from it cosmetics do you love the only product that i have of my own from it cosmetics is a red lipstick that i've used once in my entire life and it was beautiful like a cherry cherry red lipstick that very stunning and that is in shade blurred lines love it love oh it smells divine love it so that's about the only product i have from it cosmetics but yeah i'd like to know what products you guys have from the brand have you heard about it do you love it sound off in the comment box below and i guess i will catch you guys in my next video thank you so much for tuning in remember god i don't like ugly so be nice to someone today and please make sure that you subscribe and share my video with your friends <laughs> and i'll catch you guys in a future one